I can vividly remember being so worried about moving up a year. I ended up in tears over it. And no, it wasn't going into one of the stressful or important exam years, not even going from primary to high school. It was just as a little kid at primary school and I got myself all in tears about the prospect of moving up from the juniors, sorry, from the infants to the juniors. And that would be like moving from like year three to year four over here in Australia. This sounds crazy now, but that change in stage, infants to juniors, had me all worried that the work was suddenly gonna get loads harder and I'd suddenly feel out of my depth and unable to cope with all that new big kids work. Now luckily, my mum must have done a pretty good job of talking it through with me and making me feel better because I don't remember ever having had such a strong sort of reaction to a change in year group as I did over that month. Although certainly a few start of a new year butterflies definitely crept in from time to time but those sorts of feelings can come up at any point those nerves and anxiety particularly when there's a notable up leveling in the labeling or the events of a particular year group for example moving from middle to high school or into those senior years of 11 and 12. so here's what your team can expect and should be ready to look out for in their new year group so that they're not only feeling cool and calm about what lies ahead but can also really make the most of the opportunities that are going to present themselves to show their best work okay so your team's going into year nine there are going to be a few things that feel pretty similar to year eight but also a couple of significant changes in the tasks that they're likely going to be set so things that won't change too much are the level and the quantity of the subject content that's being taught. It'll just be a gradual progression of what they've had in year eight. So no need for them to worry about anything suddenly feeling super difficult or the amount of homework they're getting. It'll be much the same as last year. Now, of course, they may have one or two new subjects if they have electives starting this year. And that's gonna be really exciting. Perhaps this might be, therefore, the only place where there's going to be perhaps a steeper learning curve if, of course, it's a brand new subject. But the teachers and the syllabus are going to be taking account of that and most of the students are going to be in the same boat. So nothing really to worry about there. Just have them be aware of the need to be willing and able to ask for help if they need it or to know where to find additional help or resources on the internet. So for example, this could be tutorials on YouTube or subject specific websites like LitCharts for English Literature or economicshelp.org for economics, obviously. However, just to note, this year will form the foundation for year 10. So it's important for them to grasp all the concepts and practice any skills. Okay. So the one thing that they might notice a change in though is the types of tasks that are being set. Rather than the more standard answer these textbook questions for homework, there might be set more extend extended tasks like research assignments or even perhaps their first essay. Although to be honest, that is more likely to be in year 10, the essays, but I do so see some year nine essays being given out and it's good to be prepared, right? Now, whatever form they take, these extended tasks will require some independent research, as well as the ability to structure a comprehensive but clear response. Not to worry, at, at this stage, your teen will most likely be given a scaffold or a model to help them with structuring. And, quick tip, it would be a good idea to file and keep these when they're given them, for when they're expected in future years to be able to know them and just work on them more independently. But just in case they don't get given these or they just want a bit more help, then try using my strategy that I blogged about previously called Write the Intro Last. Now it sounds a little bit backwards, I know, but everyone who's used it has told me how well it's worked. So I'll put a link to that in the notes for this video. Plus, that independent research I mentioned, well, that can massively sap your team's time. So try out these tips as well. Three Google hacks to help you research and find information that's actually useful and the ninja referencing trick. Now you can find them on the blog at roadtransformation.com.au forward slash blog but like I said I'll put direct links for them with this video as well. So there you have it, not too much change in the demands of subject content, a little bit of excitement for some new electives and some new expectations 
in terms of more extended tasks, inquiries or investigations, maybe even that first essay. So be sure to use those tips I mentioned to help your team tackle those successfully. And while you're there, you might also want to have a browse for other related tips to get ahead for the year using my categories in the blog on the bottom right-hand side of the page. Try clicking on the tag assignments. That will be a really good place to start. I'm Katie Bryce, Great Transformation Expert, and I really hope that information helps with any new school year nerves or butterflies and gives you some useful tips. So leave me a comment or drop me an email and let me know what's the thing your team's most concerned about for the next school year or the thing they're most looking forward to. And be sure to look out for my term one parent information event coming up next week. It's totally free and has a new Netflix style twist for 2019. So here's to a super happy and successful year ahead. And until next week, let's make this a fantastic week.